Hello friends, welcome to another video on Tutorials Point with me Richa. Today under the retail segment, we will talk about the 7 P's of selling. Well, if you are a retail outlet or a retail brand, these 7 P's are very very essential and imperative to follow to in order to make a good profit for your retail brand or outlet. So let us see what is on the agenda today. Well, we will define what the 7 P's are and these 7 P's are product, price, place, promotion, people, processes and physical evidence. We will talk about all of these 7 P's in detail with you today. Well friends, a brief understanding about what these 7 P's are. It is basically a foundation for your marketing for your retail brand or outlet. So in case you want to really understand what kind of things work in retail and what doesn't work in retail, you need to understand all of these 7 P's in detail so as to reach the right target audience and make the kind of profits that you have been dreaming of. These 7 P's are product, price, physical evidence, place, promotion, people and processes. Let's look at the first one in detail which is the first P is product. Well friends, you need to understand what kind of product you are selling into the market and these products can be perishable, non-perishable, they could be apparel, they could be accessories, footwear and what not. You need to understand your product in detail in terms of what are the features of the product, what are the advantages of the product and what are the benefits of the product. So your FAB which is features, advantages and benefits need to be very very importantly sorted in your own mind because until and unless you are giving the right kind of product to the right kind of people, your retail will definitely make losses. So you need to understand who are your general merchandisers who will be selling the right kind of general merchandise to your public. Multiple line speciality merchandisers who are selling a rather a very very specific kind of a merchandise and that is the speciality of that particular merchandise. You have single line speciality merchandiser who are into only a specific merchandise. It could be retail uh, outlet of Nike, Reebok or something related with stationery for example. So they are really targeting a single line of product and they don't goof up with other products or multiple products which is the case of multiple line. An example of multiple line could be a hypermarket or a supermarket which is selling different kind of products under the same roof. A regular merchandiser is somebody who is similar to your general merchandiser who is helping you sell or rather get the right kind of product which is very very generic in nature and very very regular catering only to the regular customers that you might have. Moving on to the next P which is price. Well the price of a product that you are selling needs to be very very competitively priced. You cannot charge a very high price of a product which your competitor is selling at a low price because people will definitely go to your competitor and not come to you in case you are priced very high. So you need to understand what is the market and what are the kind of people you are catering to so as to understand what is the right pricing for your product. Now quickly taking a look at pricing, your market penetration pricing strategy has to be in accordance with the location and the market which you are catering to for your particular retail product. You have a high price strategy. A high price strategy is something which is very very highly priced and you are only talking about or rather the brand is talking in high price strategy. Friends, you must have seen when you go to buy a designer label clothing or accessories, they are high priced because of the market value. Uh, Anita Dongre Enterprise or even uh, Ritu Kumar or Manish Malhotra will be highly priced because the brand is selling only high priced products. You have cost oriented pricing strategy which is understanding the value of that particular product and the price is or the cost of the product is oriented accordingly to the value of the product. The strategy of pricing adjustment to market condition in order to enable people to buy. So you might have understood that there might be a different 
competitors of yours who might be selling something at a discount rate or a sale rate you also need to understand you have to accordingly maneuver your pricing strategy so as to adjust people to buy and lastly the competitive oriented price strategy so whenever there is a end of season sale or there is a generic discount given by different competitors you also need to have your pricing strategy according to your competitors so pricing my friends is very important because that is what is going to enable people to come to your brand and buy from you well friends the next p of this uh, in the world of selling is what is the place well place is very important because of the fact that people will be flocking to your retail outlet only if it's placed at the right location so the place is very important because finally the retailing is the final business of a distribution channel so you need to understand the infrastructure of the place how much square feet of the place you really need or you know you have to acquire for the presentation of your products the infrastructure the groundwork is something that you need to do much much more before you actually get into the retail outlet so that is where the place or the location is very essential if you keep your retail outlet at a place or location where you know that people are not really going to be aware or it's not the heart of the city or the town you will be making losses hence place is very essential well talking about promotions now it's important that you have a marketing team in place or a public relation team in place because they are the people who will be promoting your product well i'm sure you have heard friends what is seen is selling if you do not talk about your product if you do not promote your product or market your product your product will not be seen or heard by people and in turn you will be accruing losses i'm sure nobody wants to accrue losses everybody wants to make profit and hence promotion and marketing plays a very important role in doing so you need to advertise your product you need to probably give out templates or have hoardings of your product at different places in the city and town you need to have a good public relation officer who is going to talk about your product on the social media platform because the world is getting digitalized you need to do also personal selling your personal selling is the way you give references about your product to people to colleagues friends workers etc so you need to refer your product to people by personally selling them and you also need to do sales promoting and that is all under promotion that i'm going to tell you about is you need to promote promote and only promote your product in order to gather a lot of people coming to buy your product The next P is physical evidence. Well, physical evidence is the location where your store is going to be, and hence it's important that the infrastructure, the kind of organization, and the kind of uh, you know the physical evidence is the store which you need to have in order to sell your product. You cannot become a hawker or a peddler selling your product at any place on the street. If you really want to do well for your retail outlet, you need to have a set place of physical evidence wherein people are going to come and buy your product. Well, the next P is people. Now, people are very important in a retail outlet because if you have a very nice product to sell, but the wrong people who are selling those products you will never ever make profit there so you need to hire the right kind of good quality of employees to sell your product these employees should have the motivation and energy to sell your product having the right kind of body language and the right kind of attitude to give a good service to your customers as i mentioned before people are very important even more important than your product you might have a very not so good product but if you have the right kind of employee to sell that product you will be doing wonders for your retail outlet the next p is the process now friends process is very important only reason being that if you have everything going well for you the right people the right strategy marketing promotion sales discounts everything is going superb but if you have a wrong process in place everything can really burn down the bridges so processes must help the customers to get what they want and it should also minimize the purchasing time you should need to have the right kind of process the standard operating procedures should be in place for exchanges returns 
alteration, even cashiering for that matter, nobody likes to wait in a long queue to get their billing done. So hence, processes are very important because IT is the new in thing for retail. You need to have the right kind of processes so in order to make your customers happy and willing to come back to your store again. Well friends, these were the seven P's of selling which is also a foundation for your marketing strategy for your particular retail outlet. Now there are certain concerns which majority of the retail brands are facing nowadays. Let's quickly look at what these major concerns are. You need to acquire the right kind of products. So your product has to be unique in the market. Your product needs to sell in the market. Product has to have a good presentation in terms of the branding, packaging, marketing, etc. Your product needs to be presented in an order in which even you would want to buy your own product. So the presentation is really important in terms of the packaging and the quality of the product. You need to build traffic. This is where social media plays a big role. You need to talk about and harp about your product on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, what not is there in social media. You need to have the right kind of traffic building in your for your retail outlet. The layout of the store should be something where people would love to come to your store and buy from you. So the layout plays a very important role. The location of the store is again very important because if you open a store in an area where you know that people are not likely to come, you are going to occur losses there. So the location has to be the heart of the city or the town where a lot of people would want to come. It should be centrally located and not at the outskirts of the city or the town. Keeping pace with technology, technology is booming today and you need to keep in pace with the kind of technology. Nowadays mobile apps are the in thing and people are going all out in order to sell their product on these various apps. So hence friends, these are the major concerns which a lot of people are facing. So hence I would want to really ask you to take a look and deep think about all of these concerns. Well, that brings us to the end of this particular module on 7 P's of selling. I do hope you have enjoyed listening to us and we have enjoyed definitely teaching you this module. Keep watching, more videos coming your way. Thank you.